Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I want to give you a sneak peek into our, our third day of school. And my task is to be able to give my students their EV3 kits. Here is the problem though. Um, when we shut down, you remember the school's pandemic? I wasn't able to have my students take apart their robots and organize their kit for the new students that I'm getting this year. So if you stick with me, I'll show you what my students have to do this year to get ready. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. So if you forgot again, April 13th, I will never forget that day. No, 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 my bad. March 13th, the school shut down. And so the problem that I was having that I knew was gonna happen, my students get a, didn't get a chance to take apart the robots, you know, in June, when we finish up, I always have my students take apart the robots, organize their kit, so my new students for the next year have a perfect kit to start off their year. The only problem though is no students, no taking apart the robot, and now I have kits that are just all over the place. You know, they're, they're far from perfect. So what I have to do is get my this year's students, my new students, to be able to now get their kit to be perfect like it should have been done for last year. So it's not a big deal. It's just gonna take a couple of days out of our schedule to get those kits perfect. So let me go ahead and show you what we did. Okay, if I sound out of breath, I am. I just had to take all the kits from last year, actually two years ago, and put them out. So again, the problem is when the school shut down because of the pandemic, um, these groups didn't get a chance to take their robots apart and inventory their kits. So this year, 2021, the new students that I have, they're gonna have to take apart these students' robots and inventory their kit so the kit is perfect so they can get started. So this is pretty overwhelming to be able to have all of these kits and every group or team is gonna to have to inventory their kit um, because these kits are all messed up because you know these students were in the middle of projects. So some, you know, some of them built things like this where so that whoever's kit that that belongs to, they're missing all of those pieces. So it's gonna be interesting few, few days here getting their kits back in order um, yeah, we'll see how they do. Okay, so this is how I prepare my students to organize their kit to start off this new year. So I just took the colored cover that should be with your EV3 kit, and I basically enlarged it. I enlarged it so that the kids could see the pieces a lot bigger. So this is actually 11 by 17 paper. And so what they'll do is they will just you know, mark off that they have all the pieces they need. I definitely make sure they get a colored copy like this so they can see that that's really red because on here it's going to end up being black. And so I just tell my students, hey, go through all of the drawers. You guys know I have all the pieces in drawers. Look for pieces. Um, I have extra piece kits here where they can look to find things in. And then I just make it, you know, understandable that it's their goal to make sure that them and their partners will get these pieces perfect. I tell them no more, no less. Make sure that all of your pieces match that you're supposed to have. So that's what my students job will be for, you know, today, tomorrow, maybe even a third day. Some of them seem like, you know, they're having a hard time finding their, their these pieces. Okay, so here's another challenge I ran into today. This was my sixth period here. So what we ended up having, uh, we ran out of the Mindstorms kits. And so I said, okay, why don't you guys just work on your tray today? And I'm gonna have to you know, work on emptying. I have enough of these Mindstorm kits, but I'm using them for other things like first Lego League models and holding extra pieces like this. So I'm going to have to come up with a bright idea of where to put all of these things while, you know, we give these kits to these students so they can put their trays in that kit. 
But you know what? We'll figure it out. We're pretty smart. Oh, hi. Okay, so my students today worked on part of their kit, getting it all set up. So there's my period two. There's my period three. There's my period four. Um, you guys already saw my period six right there. And then my period five is over here. There you go, right there. So we started getting their kits organized today and they're definitely gonna need tomorrow and maybe a third day. And then um, for those of you just getting started in robotics, um, you're gonna learn real quick that their project, their robot's not gonna fit inside of their kit. So, you know, it's the first week of school. They should be all wearing new shoes, right? So I'm having students bring in shoe boxes so that way they have a place to put their robot. So if you guys missed the video that I've done um, before in other years, they'll put their kits inside a cabinet like that and then they'll have a parking lot and that's where their shoe boxes will go. And so we, we like to keep those things separate. The kits, you know, the kits I'm talking about, the EB3 kits will go into this cabinet and then their shoe boxes will go into the parking lot cabinet. So if you wanna see what that looks like, again, this is from a previous year before we shut down. So their robots will go inside those shoe boxes. So, you know, pieces fall off if they had pieces they were building something together that it can go in the shoe box and those pieces don't get lost. Okay guys, so there you have it. Um, what was really funny is my students were like, Miss Gina, that was the most fun thing ever. And I'm like, okay, it wasn't really meant to be fun. I mean, it's probably more fun than sitting in another class, just, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing in other classes. Um, but it was good to hear that they had fun and they're getting excited about actually using these pieces that they're organizing to do robotics. So it's just a, a really good day for me because I get to see how excited they are um, being exposed to these pieces that they're going to be working with all year and, you know, getting along with their partner to find these pieces. So it was just an awesome day. And so, you know, um, that's what we do to get ready to start off your year in robotics is just to get their kits perfect and then we're ready to roll. We're ready to move on to the next thing. So hopefully you enjoyed that and you know if your kids are having to do that because your students did, didn't get a chance to organize the kits for these new students this year, it's not as bad as you might think. I was mortified but I'm thinking about it going, man, these kids had a good time today. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. I am Mr. Hino from Mission Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.